Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to select specific rows in Python using pandas and we will use the dot loc function for that. So I've got the documentation open here with me and I recommend that you go through it and it's pandas data frame dot loc access a group of rows and columns by labels or boolean array. So for those of you coming from a database uh, world in a SQL query you can specify the top 10 rows or you can uh, specify you know some number of rows but here it, it gives you the capability to filter them in, in pandas uh, so let's start so uh, what I'm uh, doing is I'm basically importing pandas package and then I'm uh, importing CSV files uh, these CSV files are from Kaggle and they are um, the test and the train data set for Titanic I'll leave a link for this in the video notes and I'll also leave a link to this file which I'll upload onto GitHub so you can download the file and do the tutorial with me. So all I'm doing on here is I'm importing the package and then I'm importing these two files which sit on my machine. Uh, I need to do is click shift enter. So I've done that and uh, I could access any of them. So uh, let's just access uh, train.dfs and the first 10 rows. So all I'm saying is I want the first 10 rows. I'm really not concerned. Should give me all the columns. So if I do shift enter here, you see it's giving me uh, all, all the rows. And we, we could pretty much do the same thing. Uh, let me just copy this. And we could uh, do it for test data frame as well. And let's just uh, use find the rows 5 to 10. So I'll just use that and hit shift enter. So it's giving me the rows from 5 to 10 uh, for the test data frame. And you can see for the test data frame, we don't have the survive uh, column. So this is an interesting uh, or a very useful feature when you want to do a quick data analysis just to figure out how the data looks like. Uh, you can use um, this indexing function. Uh, so just to summarize, we uh, looked at the uh, how to do row indexing using .loc. Uh, we use the pandas data frame for the same. I hope you find the video useful and thanks for watching the video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my video if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.